Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. Tonight's nightcap, I eventually get the little brass oil that's finished off that I sorted last week. I just ran out of time with them. Um, they're all finished. They'll be in part two of the nightcap. In part one of the nightcap, I'm going to do the draw. I've got some viewer mail and I've got another little welding fabricating job to do. Right, first thing is, I'm going to do the draw for the inside, outside calipers and the dividers. Good forage about in here. Right, there's one. Right, the new I got here is Keith Herbert. Right, Keith, all you've got to do is send me an email with your address in, and I'll get that posted to you. As soon as possible. I'm going to do one of that draw this week. This week's draw is going to be for a, a micrometer. It's a more and right two inch micrometer. I was given a set of micrometers um, basically to give away. I've had one or two people asking if I would sell this set. They're not mine to sell or mine to give away. So I'm going to, going to give them away. It's a note of two inch more and right in good condition. If I get a close up shot of that a little bit later on. If you want a chance at one of the micrometer, all you have to do is send me an email. That's my email address up there. It's the new email address, but the old one also works as well. Uh, in the email, I need your name, your full name, like John Mills, not just John. Name in the bucket. If it's drawn out, I'll post it off to you anywhere in the world, completely free of charge. And I always keep saying, it's just a way of saying thanks very much for all the help and support. I mean, these were sent in to be given away. Um, I've got two two inch micrometers, one I use in a new one, so I don't need another one. It's pointless just hanging onto these for the sake of it. Somebody might as well get use of it. I mean, if you win it and you're doing one, give it to somebody that can use it. This is a two inch one right micrometer for this week's giveaway. In good condition, being used, but it's in good condition. There's no test board, no spanner, but it's not the end of the world. Quite a nice little microphone. This is the first bit of your meal that came in from a lad called Mark Owen. It's actually come all the way from Thailand. Um, he did email as much as I wanted this. And what it is, it's a Michiturio Imperial Depth Mic. Once again, I have got it in Imperial Depth Mic, but it isn't as good as this one. So I'll be keeping this one, and obviously I'll give me give mine away. An excellent uh, piece of kit, very useful. Anyway Mark, thanks once again. I can assure you that will be put to, to good use. I've got a repair job to do here. This is off a, a car, we have a car lift. Uh, that has actually been on there like that. There's been a pulley on there and the pulley's just through lack of lubrication. Just wall and wall away and wall the shaft away. That's what it should look like. It's actually got a brass bush in there, but there's no grease point. I'm going to drill this and put a grease nipple in uh, to make it the way it should have been made in the first place. I want to make one thing perfectly clear. This is a control cable, it's not a lift cable. If anything goes wrong with this, the lift just stops working. I will not repair or weld anything to do with lift mechanisms that have got to be load tested or any safety critical components. So all it is is a control cable. Right, so I've, see I've cut that off, I'm going to mill that off there. I'll take that support bracket off, make a new bush and weld it in. Or at least make a new pin and weld it in. But I will modify it so it's got a grease nipple in so it's got half a chance of lasting a little bit longer. So we'll get this in the miller machine, mill that off. You could use a grinder, but I don't want to put sort of a lot of grinding dust in any workshop. It wouldn't go in the miller machine.
Right, we're going to shoot those pieces of water to make the little pin out of. First thing we'll turn down is the damper for the, the pulley to go on, which is 30mm, as a little circular groove goes in the end. Cool, yes, we're just doing a few turns and more speed just to get some oil on the gearbox. Good, it's a little bit tight, you want room for grease. Just a little, a little polish. Right, now it's just a donkey's knob. A little circle of groove in there now, I'll see what small tool I've got to put that in with. There's an easy way of doing something, just do it. I've got a large selection of small, high speed seal tools. I've been, I've been given or I've bought in car boot sales and they've all got different grains on them that's like a little parting tool it'll be ideal to put this circle of groove in just the right width so how I marked it out there so I'm just going to go on the outside of that a little bit of room for a little bit of play and that should very gently Just eyeballing the depth. It's about as deep as it was wide on the original, so that should that should be fine. In here, so we need a pull put in the end of there. This by hand, I don't think I'll be power feeding or tapping six mil. That'd take a lot, there's not that many much threads on it. It's all piece nibble. Good. I'm just going to machine a little groove in the centre 
just to go a little bit of grease. from the end of there good fit so it should feed some grease through there That's well in, not too bad. Once again, I've used just a similar rod. Right, this one turned into work. I've got no idea what it's in it or who it's from. Um, so I'm going to open this one with a, a camera. Wait, open it with a knife. Not using the camera. phone breaking in. Look forward to the video. Bob Shepard. Right Bob, let's see what we've got. Oh, I know where it is. It's a, a die holder for those split dies I was given. That's absolutely excellent. I'm going to get the dies and we'll try them in. 
I mean, these will get used because quite often we'll have damaged threads on the steam wagon in that old imperial threads, and these are adjustable, so they'll do the they'll do the job for no problem at all. It's a little bit of oil on there, it's a little bit sticky, but these will be old. These, right, so the dies come out like that. Once clean it up, a different size. There's not much in it, but they're a different size. There's 20 fell difference. I think that the Three, eight, three. Nine, three. Well, that's a shame. Eight, three. I wouldn't have thought there would be that much difference. Um, I could make them fit, but I don't really want to do that. I'll have a good thing about this one. To see what I'm going to do with it. Right, this is a two inch micrometer for the giveaway. If I can get the bastard open. Oh, I think bastard features. 